oil down is we ting. Nobody could copy that. That is we national dish. Grenada's national dish. This one pot delicacy embodies our heritage, character, friendliness, and joy. Each ingredient brings with it a story of its own. It's a melange of our tumultuous history, our passion as a people, and the love for a little socialization. Watch now. No get together is a good get together without a pot of oil. What do you? And rum. But that's a story for another time. At the heart of this dish is breadfruit. Introduced to us by Captain William Bly, you could find a tree in every backyard. Breadfruit is fig. That's what we call green bananas. And grown provisions like yams, dashi, and whatnot. No, this is just my opinion. But you can't make oil long without meat. Some people do, and that's fine. But you must have some meat in there. Pigtail, chicken, a little salt beef, crab, or wild meat like iguana. Or even salt fish. No. With the salt fish, you have to soak it good because you don't want to salt the pot. You must also try not to eat out all before you finish prep the other ingredients. That is problems. Now, the salt fish, originally cod, was meant as a cheap source of food for the slaves. But today, salt fish is Mr. Salt Fish. So put some respect on it. Anyways, dumplings must not be forgotten. Very important. You see, making dumplings is an art. It can't be too hard or too soft, it can't be too big or too small, it can't be too sweet or too salty. It must be just right. All you need is a little flour, salt and water. That is how we like it. Now, to pack the pot, that is the real skill. You must artfully stack all these ingredients in your pot and cloak it in Kalaloo. Let it simmer slowly in a bath of coconut milk turmeric which was introduced to us by South Asian immigrants, curry and other seasonings. Poi, pure perfection! At independence time, you can find pots of oil long smoldering on an open fireside in every community. Look out for the savory aroma and people lining by the pot with their bowly, fig leaf or plate, whichever is your choice. This dish is Grenada's fingerprint. Each pot possesses its own unique flavor. You see oil down? That's a Grenadian thing.